Hey look, it's an old Windows tablet thing. Wow! And it is unusable. Now this is an x86 tablet, which is pretty rare. Can you turn on? Please, yes, it is alive. In search of incredible. Yeah, I believe so. Have you found it yet? You have found it. You have found the incredible. Now with a lot of patience and some convincing, it may be able to painfully drag itself onto the internet, as you can see. Can we open YouTube? Come on, mate. Come on. Yeah, my history is off. Thank God it is. Can you show me some shorts? Come on. Come on, let's see. I'm tired, boss. It is loading. I did not want to see that. It's an Intel Atom. <laughs> it has a whopping 2 gigs of RAM and I believe 32 gigs of storage. And Windows, with its bloatware, takes up all of it! Curse you, Microsoft! But the hardware, it's fine. This thing runs reasonably well. The battery life is still okay. It has some potential. And I want to save it. It was never designed to do hard stuff, but I want to make it usable again. All I'm asking is to download PDFs, watch YouTube, and use Notion. If I can do that, I will be satisfied. And that's where Linux comes in. In case you don't know, it is an operating system that boasts full customizability to enhance gaming, productivity, and privacy, and maybe piracy, at the price of doing it yourself. And also, you know, it does not collect your data while you use it. Microsoft. But most importantly, Linux has kind of a reputation for resurrecting old hardware like this. The Penguin is in fact a very good necromancer. But there is a tiny, witty, slight problem. I have never installed Linux on anything, and I heard it is especially hard on these guys. So yeah, well, this might go horribly wrong, but that's the fun part. Since the dawn of time, nerds have been arguing about what Linux distro is the best. Blood was spilled in the name of Debian. Friendships were arch-annihilated, heads popped off bodies, and an infinite amount of online discussions still goes on to this day. What is the chosen domain of the most hardcore Linux users? Which one gives the most bragging rights? Arch. If you want to brag, use Arch and you can type, I use Arch by the way, anywhere you want. Or if you hack, use Kali. There are a metric ton of distros, like seriously hundreds. But this is not a distro tier list, so here's a spec sheet. I chose Ubuntu, specifically 22.04, because it supports a touchscreen and it's simple. I have no further reasons. That's a skateboard keychain. Yeah, I was one of the cool kids. The general procedure to install Linux involves putting the Penguin on a USB stick and then going to the BIOS and make the PC boot from the USB stick. But in order to do that, we need to have Linux on a USB stick. And in order to do that, we need a software called Belina Etcher, which enables you to write, namely etch the OS onto a USB stick. That was surprisingly simple. But the simple part would end there. Instead of doing this, you actually need to get into a boot menu. Which is awful, of course, because it's Windows. So in my case, what I have to do is I need to go into settings, then update and recovery, and I need to do advanced restart. Now this should take us to a troubleshooting screen. Yeah, it says wait. I am waiting. Oh, turn off. Yes! Use a device. Come on, mate. You can do it. You can do it. In search of incredible, will you find the incredible? Oh, there we have it. Ubuntu, safe graphics, OEM install. What, why does the keyboard not work? Dude, what? Oh, come on. But the key, I am smashing the keys, they do not work. I'll try to disconnect and reconnect the keyboard. Maybe a couple. No, what are you doing? Did I click some? Oh, Ubuntu. File system checks. Okay, well, I'll trust you with that. Although I am a bit worried. I was trying to disconnect and reconnect the keyboard and I accidentally clicked on something. Amazing! Linux, 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 ooh! That's a... Yeah! <laughs> I made it! This Pink Panther thing even looks kind of cute. I think I'll keep it. Why are there... Ooh, this works. Very good. Very good. 
install Ubuntu. Yes, it is loading. Now what it is loading, I have no idea. But it is thinking something, probably. Okay, so now we've gotten to erase disk and install Ubuntu. Install now. The partition table is from the device are change. Uh, continue. Are you gonna let me have my penguin? No, uh, Central European time. Thank you very much. Jacob T100 Han. Yes, that sounds like a Terminator name. I like it. Welcome to Ubuntu. Thank you very much, you lovely pink panther. Oh, and by the way, where I live, these can be found used for like 50 euros, which is nothing for a tablet. And if you have a USB stick and the willingness to do what I did, consider it. Something is moving. Although I do not exactly know why or what is moving. Restart now, my boy. Remove the installation medium, then press enter. Okay, we'll remove the penguin. Press enter. And now we pray. Yeah, I have a cursor. Very nice. Live patch. Conical live patch helps you get computers secure by applying some updates that were normally required while starting. Sure, why not? No, don't send system information. Thank you very much. Geographical location. Hell no. Will you let me go on the internet after this? Well, yeah, I guess it is a waiting game after all. It went into another loading screen, as if we didn't have enough of those. And now, dude, will you let me log in and use this thing? So can I actually click that? I can click that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Linux. Can I open Firefox? We're having trouble finding that site. Oh, that's because I don't have fucking Wi-Fi. Because I'm an idiot. Recommendation. I know, I want them to be off. Well, anyway, that's YouTube. I will count it as a win. Now, after some proper fiddling, I have told it to reinstall Firefox, and hopefully that will work. So finally, finally, it is letting me use Notion. Ah, oh, this took so long, but I'm very happy about it. Now, very last thing, can we download a PDF? I have one right here. Yeah, save. Yeah, <laughs> finally. Oh, yeah, that's so nice. That is so nice. And that's how you get a working tablet from an old Windows machine. Thank you for watching.